Welcome to another video. So, Ninja Chat is something that I have been covering for a while now. And recently, Ninja Chat has gotten some pretty cool new upgrades, including a new coding artifacts feature. Let's talk about it, and let me show you all the cool new things that it has. First of all, if you're not aware of Ninja Chat, then let me give you a quick recap of it. Ninja Chat is an all in one AI assistant that gives you access to a bunch of models like Anthropics Claude, 3.5 Sonnet, GPT 4.0, Gemini, and image generators, as well as video generators, all for the cost of less than one Chat GPT membership. It allows you to save a ton of money on membership costs by providing you all these models in one place. But it's not limited to that either, because it gives you a bunch of tools to utilize these models in intricate ways. For example, it gives you a bunch of AI writing tools, along with PDF chat options, an AI playground, an AI mind map generator, and an image generator. Recently, they have also added a new artifacts feature to generate code and preview it, which is pretty cool. If we talk about the pricing, then you can see that we have three tiers of pricing here. The lowest tier of pricing is $11 per month and gives you 1,000 premium AI messages along with 30 AI image generations and 5 AI video creations. If you want better limits, then you can take the most popular pro membership for $24 per month and you get 4,000 premium AI messages in this along with 100 AI image generations and 15 AI video creations. But if you want something even better, then you can also take the expert plan for $36 per month, and it gives you 8,000 premium AI messages along with 300 AI image generations and 30 AI video creations. So, there's a plan for everyone, which is great. But if you want to get some discount on these already great prices, then you can also use my coupon code KING25 and get a 25% discount on all the plans, whether it be a monthly plan or a yearly plan. But that's enough talk. Let's check out the new stuff. First of all, when you sign into the platform, you'll see this new looking dashboard, which looks pretty good and allows you to access all the tools at a glance. Let's start with some simple chat. Here, you can select the models you want to use from Claude, 3.5 Sonnet, 01, or GPT-4.0. I like the Claude model, so I'll select that. Now, you can do simple chat here, or you can also attach images for multimodal chat, or you can also attach documents to chat with the context of your documents. But it's not limited to that either, because you can also use some great new commands here. You can just type in at the rate, and it will give you some commands like adding data from YouTube or a website, or you can even use custom assistance provided by Ninja Chat themselves, which is also great. I have added the Anthropic documentation here, and you can see that it explains it really well, which is just amazing. Let's also try one of the assistants here as well. Let's select the essay writer, and you can see that here it shifts to the assistant, and now it will provide better results in that sector because it has a better system prompt and everything, which is great. Apart from that, you also have the AI playground option, and here you can generate responses for the same prompt from different models in the same view which is pretty great to use to compare responses and stuff. You can now also save your chats and sort them quite easily by creating folders and putting chats related to one topic in one place and other stuff in other folders and navigating through chats quite easily. Apart from this, you also have the AI image generator here that allows you to generate images from models like Flux and Stable Diffusion and it works pretty well and fast, which is great. You can also generate AI videos with it as well, with the Kling model, and it actually works really well. And you can also set the aspect ratio and everything. It works really well. 
But it's not just that either, because you also have the music generator option as well, where you can enter whatever kind of music you want to generate, and it will generate that for you in literal seconds. So, this is super cool as well. But we have some other great options over here as well, like this mind map generator. Here, you can ask it to generate any kind of mind map you want, along with the details from something like website scraping, or an image, or a file, or even a YouTube video. So, this is also super cool to use if you like mind maps. Apart from that, you also have the chat with PDF option that allows you to just upload PDFs and preview them here. And then you can chat with the context of that document in the chat window. And it works really well without going weird with the context and stuff like that. So, this is great to use. After this, you can see the writing library, where you get a bunch of writing tools like text naturalizer and stuff, and you can just give your writing or text to it, and configure it, and get your stuff naturalized, or anything based on what the tool does. But apart from this, we have a new tool called Artifacts. In Artifacts, it can code anything and run it and preview it as well. You can ask it for data visualization as well, and it can create charts and everything, and it can also make general web apps as well. Let's ask it to make a to-do app. Okay, it's now doing it. If we wait a bit, then you can see that it's now done, and we can see that it works pretty well. And you can also look at the code here as well, which looks pretty good. And you can also download the code from here, and you can refresh it as well. And not just that. You can also share these artifacts with others as well by copying the URL and sharing it with others, and then others can use it. It's really great for creating stuff quite easily. You can also use it to generate charts and graphical interpretations as well. So, I'm uploading this CSV of the benchmark results that I do, and if I ask it to just convert this into a chart, then you can see that it starts doing that. If we wait a bit, then you can see that it's now done, and this looks super cool and is fully accurate. So, it also works great for creating charts and stuff, because it uses Python. So, this is how you can use it. Another thing that many people ask me is how to use it with Ader and Klein. Well, you can actually do that quite easily if you see my Ader and chat GPT video, but for newer people, let me just explain it to you quickly. So, what you can do is that you can just generate code here with a prompt, and then if you use Ader, then you can set up a model like Gemini for free with the API key from Google, and just then use the Ader Apply Clipboard Edits option with the file name, and then it will apply the code from NinjaChat to the file accordingly. You can check out my proper video on it for more details about how it works. Anyway, apart from that, if you want to use it with Klein, then you can just maintain a markdown file where you can just paste your code in it, and then just ask Klein to apply the code from that correctly. So, that's how you can use it with them as well. I think that Ninja Chat was already powerful and it's now even more powerful. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below, or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.